But we all know Richard Angle as a fearless NBC correspondent. And our really good friend. Mm -hmm. But today he's here with his wife, Mary, and their little boy, Henry. And they're going to tell us about the courage it takes to face a different kind of challenge. We're going to talk to the whole family in a moment. But first, their story in their own words. Wow, look at that. When Henry was born just over two years ago, he made our life complete. The sweetest, happiest boy. But almost right away, something didn't seem quite right. The problem was Henry wasn't really progressing. He wasn't sitting up when he should. He wasn't uh, clapping his hands when he should. We went to every doctor we could find. Cardiologists, hearing, hearing sight, mm -hmm. blood tests. And Gastroenterologist, everybody. Everyist. It was a mystery and we thought, okay, well, there are late bloomers. We decided to do a full genetic scan. The results came in last September while I was with U.S. troops in South Korea when the convoy pulled over. So I called the doctor and he said, we found something and it's very, very severe and it's lifelong, uh, not treatable. I was in a state of, of shock. I got back in this convoy, like shaking. It was the worst day of my, my life. Henry has a serious genetic disorder. In girls, it's called Rett syndrome. For boys, it's very rare, and for now, untreatable. I called you, I said, we have a result, and I said, it's not good. It's, it's not just delay, it means lifelong, permanent, untreatable, physical and intellectual impairment. And you... I just said, no, 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 no. Yeah. And unfortunately, the more we learned about it, the worse the news got. Doctors have told us Henry will likely never walk, talk, dress himself, or have the mental capacity beyond a toddler. And that health problems are likely coming as well. Kids with this mutation tend to have epilepsy or seizures of some kind. But he's generally quite, quite happy, but um, it could be a darker road ahead. Uh, doctors have said that he could get rigid uh, as it's a corridor. I don't want to go down. No matter what's coming, we want Henry to know he's loved. He gives back what we put in and more. Play also has a purpose. We try to keep him moving, hoping every tiny crawl makes his muscles stronger. Good job. Good job. Every moment can help develop a skill even lunch. To get him a little bit of you know, that dexterity. Yeah. One, two, one. He has two. physiotherapy daily and hospital visits twice a week to stimulate his senses. You know, I'm basically his manager for that and cheerleader and it gives me purpose and it's important and I see it helping him. But this story may have a happy ending for Henry and many other children because there is hope that Henry holds the key to a treatment. A lot depends on the work being done by Dr. Hoda Zogby at the Duncan Institute at the Texas Children's Hospital. Henry's mutation is unique in the world, but it, it, because it's unique is what makes it so valuable. Sometimes from the rarest thing you can learn the most. Dr. Zogby's lab has collected Henry's cells. Okay. The goal is to find a way to boost a protein called MECP2, essential for brain function. So these are Henry's cells. We're using them to monitor the level of MECP2 protein. Dr. Zogby says if she can boost the protein safely, it would be a breakthrough for Henry and many children. We know today there are hundreds of genes that can cause autism, or can cause intellectual disability or complex psychiatric disorders. Using Henry cells to study Rett syndrome, was successful, can be applied to any of those diseases. While we wait for scientific progress, we try to make Henry's life as normal as possible. It's, it's hard. Sometimes I really have to gear myself up. All right, I'm gonna see a nine-month-old doing more than him. Um, it's easy to get lost in this. But there are also moments of joy and togetherness. It's made our relationship stronger, actually. And we're all we've got. We're all he's got right now. So we, we need to be a team. <laughs>
and Richard. Mary Henry, welcome. First, we love you. Thank you. We love you so much. And um, we know you're a courageous guy, Richard. We've seen you out in the field, but this is a different kind of courage. Well, it's it's not a story that anybody wants to, to tell, and yeah. it was very difficult for us, but we wanted to raise awareness uh, to make other families with special needs children, children who are challenging, know that they're not alone. Yep. It can feel very lonely, yep. you know, when you go down the street and you see other children behaving, quote yeah. unquote, normally, right. and knowing that that his life and our life is never going to be exactly uh -huh. like that. Uh -huh. And we wanted to point out some of the research that is being done, that there is hope, and that maybe he can even contribute yeah. to, the, to that progress. Well, so. Henry is so special. We he just is. got to love up on Henry a little bit before we came on here. <laughs> and Mary, you're doing, you both of you just pouring your whole hearts and everything into yeah. this boy. Mm -hmm. Of course, um, yeah. But it must have been hard to think about, like, coming out publicly mm -hmm. and talking about it because it's so raw. It's raw. It's painful and very personal, but um, we appreciate being able to do it. And hopefully, like we said, it's it's lonely. So hopefully other people maybe will see this and feel a little less alone. And and we will too, you know. Um, and and what they're doing in at Texas Children's Hospital is really amazing. And it gives us hope. It gets us through every day. Can we so. talk about that for a minute? Because I love that when in the piece when you said, but wait a minute. This story might have a happy ending. So what are you looking for? What are you hoping for? So his mutation is yeah. potentially one of a kind. The doctor yeah. thinks it's the first one in existence. And while that's obviously very challenging and difficult for us, and, and certainly for, for him, in that rarity, yeah. there may be the key to his own treatment and a treatment to, to many others. So what Dr. Zogby is trying mm -hmm. to do is figure out a way to boost this protein that he doesn't have enough of. Mm -hmm. And if she can figure out how to do that mm -hmm. safely, mm -hmm. it could be applied to a whole host of other genetic disorders. So it could be at the end of the day that he, he has a, a key to, yeah. to helping himself and potentially many others. But look, we have to get there first. Uh, they're working on the research. They're hard at work at yeah. it right now. And, and that's what we're, we're driving for. You talked about Henry. He's, he is happy. He He'll give is. you a little <laughs> smile. Yeah. He's a little such less. a good boy. And, yeah. and I, you know, what you guys have been doing in the therapy is helping. Mm -hmm. It is helping. I, he, you know, it's um, our milestones are not necessarily milestones. We call them inch stones. So <laughs> he doesn't, you know, it's it's slow, but there is there is progress, and he works really hard. And we have fun. We make it fun. So where do you guys just lastly, where do you guys find your strength? Like I'm looking at two people, and I know that you you're, you I can see how strong you are. Where does it come from? From Henry. Henry. Yeah. I mean, you can't um, not get up in the morning. You, you just have to get up and go and do it and take care of him and, and he's raring to go and you know so that's and we get we back do. what we what we put in you know when I'm holding him and cuddling yeah. him and he smiles back I mean what yeah. are you going to do you have to try harder and you have to give it everything you can and I know other families have been yeah. through this kind of thing before and you know, we can learn from them and, and, and take from, from their experience and their strength as well. If people want to help, yeah. guys, what should they do? There's going to be so yeah. many people who yeah. are so touched and love you, Richard. Yeah. They know you, and this is going to feel like it does mm -hmm. to us, like it's in the family. Mm -hmm. Well, and I, I appreciate yeah. it. And you, we do say that word uh, at this network a lot, family. Mm -hmm. At times like this, um, mm -hmm. thank you to you both. It really does okay. feel like, like a family. Um, we're putting up, there's there's a website uh -huh. that the research institute uh, has has put together talks about the, the work that's being done. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna link to that. I've been tweeting it out uh, this morning. Mm -hmm. It'll be on today.com. I mm -hmm. think uh, now yeah. or 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 very yeah. soon. It is. We love you guys. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. We love you, Henry. Henry. We love you, Henry. Henry. He's a good boy. <laughs> yep. Thank you. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.